Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today I'm gonna do a comparison between these two Dynamo label makers. So I really like this one on the right. It's got a QWERTY keyboard, so the letters are kind of like in a line like you'd see on a typewriter. Now over here, it's a little bit different. Um, this can take some getting used to if you're used to a typewriter. The letters are in a, they're in logical order. Okay, so let's print them out, see how they each one prints. You do have to manual cut each one. Let it get done printing. Manually cut it. There's our label. Now let's try this one. I've got the words typed in. You're going to hit the print button. This one is a little bit faster at printing. So I had it set on the really, really small. That's the eight point. Let's go. I like that you can adjust the size really quick. There's a button right here. 24 is the top. So let's go right to 24 and hit print. All right, had it. There's the cutter I was using. So you can see here's the difference in the labels. Now I think, yeah, just this one seems like a little bit nicer label and it definitely is bigger. Now they take different cartridges. So let's open this one up. This is the cartridge that this one takes. It's called the letter tag. And over here, we gotta open it up, it's the D1. So press this right here. There's the D1, half inch, black on white. They're both very easy to load. We got the dynamo here. This one's really easy to load, just close it. On off button, let's just turn it off. We got batteries back here. This takes four uh, AA batteries. And this one takes six AAA batteries. Now these are stacked on top of each other. So make sure when you put them in, you stack them up right. I really do like this one. Um, it just seems a little bit nicer, nicer label. I got more functions. I like these quick access buttons right here. Um, and I do like that kind of keyboard. I thought I would be able to use this type of keyboard, but this one, if you haven't used this type, it can be tricky. Okay, so now let's get the, and I did find that this one was a little trickier to get the backing off. Just seems like it was just a little trickier. They're both relatively easy to get it off. Let's stick it on there. Now let's get this back in on this. Again, this one on the right hand side here, this one did seem just a little bit easier to get the backing off. You got to split it down the middle, get it off. Now both these stickers, again, they look nice. Um, they're not going to come off. They're on there really good. As you can see, this one is a little bit bigger, so I hope my comparison video helps. Thanks everybody for watching.